Hey guys, what's up? My name is Giving Chaos, and today I am going to be doing a Minimator tutorial. And as you guessed from the title, it is going to be on pancakes or waffles, or it could be on 3D hair. Anyways, in order to make a rig with 3D hair, you need four items: Minimator, Paint.net, which is free. Your skin, I chose hairbrine, because why the hell not? And an item template, which looks like the following. Yep. Now, I will leave links to all these in the description below. Except the skin, because you can get that on your own. Anyways. First of all, you want to open up paint.net or any other painting software, like Photoshop. So, you open up paint.net, and then you open up... You go to the desktop, and you try to find your skin. Okay, uh, skin is herobrine.png. So, here's Herobrine, right? Now we also want to open up the item template. Go back to the desktop, and then item template. Okay. Now what you want to do is go over to the skin, and then you want to select the rectangle tool. And then you want to clip in all of the hair. Push Control C for copy. Go over here and Control V for paste. Then you want to adjust it so it fills the entire item frame and go pixelated to get that nice Minecraft feel. Go over here, over, then all the way up. So it's like that. This is the top. Then you want to do the other sides. So let's just do that real quick. So go over here. Control C for copy. Control V for paste. Drag down. Nope. I want to do that and make it all Four, not three, but four. Okay, so this is what you want it to somewhat look like. Now, since the face is there, you just want to also select this tool again. Or you could select the eraser. And then just start deleting his skin. And only leave the hair. Now that you got the hair, all you want to do now is just save it to your desktop, or wherever you want to save it. Save as... Hero Brine's... Amazing Hair. Go to... Uh, desktop. And save. Uh, just click OK, because I don't know what any of that does. And that now you're done with this. And here's Herobrine's amazing hair. So you just want to move the item template over because we do not need it now. Now it's time to launch up Minimator. Okay, now when Minimator is opened, you want to add a character. Character. Put the skin on. Let's browse for the skin. It is at the desktop, and I have a lot of things on my desktop that you people can't see. And you just want to type in your skin, or wherever your skin is located. Always rename your thing, so Hero Brian. 
Brian. Okay. So, here is Herobrine, Steve's dead brother, blah 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 blah. And as you can see, his hair is kinda one-dimensional. But don't worry, we are going to fix that. So, you want to click Add, Item, and then for the item, you just want to name it like Hair Front, and then you go Items, Browse, and then you type in what you want. And you're looking for Herobrine's amazing hair in the template. Now over here, you want to select the front. And then the item becomes the front, which you cannot see, and now you can. Okay. Now what you want to do is just the simple stuff. Which is going to instances, clicking hair front, lock to parent, click hero brine, and then you select his head. Now what you do is you select that keyframe, click position, and rotation, even though you really don't need rotation, so let's uh, not click that at all. Move it to his front, and he has a big unibrow now. Whoa, what the hell happened? Control Z. There. Now. All you want to do now is to scale it at 0 0.25, I believe. No, I would not recommend that. Although, if you want a mustache, if you want a mustache, why not? Um, you really want to play around with the values. How about 5.1? Um, is that better or? Now, it appears to be a little better, so you want to make it around 5.1, I'm a-guessing. Yeah, that seems to be pretty good. Now, you just want to do it for the others, like, uh, let's do it again. Let's go back to the library. You want to add an item, browse items, Hero Brian's amazing hair, that, hair, what is it, left? Left. And, uh, what you do with the left is you do the exact same thing. You go over to instances, find hair left. Lock to parent, and the parent is Herobrine, and head. And now what you want to do is you want to go over to his left side, left side, scale it down to 5.1, or 0 0.51. Move it out. Rotate it Z axis 90. Or minus 90. And then you just move it. So his hair is three dimensional. Kinda. Ish. Thing. You could also move it down. Now, if you want, you could easily duplicate this in instances. You could duplicate and move it over. Looking good so far. Looking good. Looking three-dimensional. Also, if you wanted, you could also uh, make it more three-dimensional by scaling it. Not doing simple scaling. And then, uh... I have no idea what just happened. There. 
the Y axis. You could make his hair puff out even more if you wanted to. But I think I'm just going to leave it at 5.1. That's just my personal thought. Anyways, with the hair front, you could duplicate that. Wait, no, you can't. Sorry, my bad. And, yeah, it's pretty basic. Let's just finish this up, and I will be back in a sec. There, we now put it on his head. Now, what I like to do for the top part of his head is make it a little bit bigger so it just covers the edges. So, 5.5 is a bit too big. So, 5.3 should be the ideal size. Move it forward, left, back. I think that looks eh. You want to do the finishing touch, finishing touches yourself, but actually 5.4. So do the final fin. So do the final finishing touches yourself, and then you should have a hair rig that looks hopefully a lot better than mine. Let Let's go back to 5.2. 5. .2. 5 3. All this really is, is trial and error. So, hopefully you have better luck than me. And, to be honest, I think, uh, can we look at Herobrine? Herobrine looks terrible with 3D hair. Or he doesn't look half bad, or, I don't know. And yeah, if you adjust his head any, like rotate it, not position, because that will move his head. Because the hair is parented, it, is, it will stay on, so it's like 3D. And that is how you create 3D hair. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button if you would kind so kindly and as always peace out